we don't have an attention economy so much as increasingly an attention monopoly. Right. Uh, that's the, the problem. There's, sometimes people talk about attention economics as if it's a new thing. No, there's always been that. The really unusual thing about Western society at the moment is the enormous concentration, really, between two companies for all our meaningful attention. My personal problem is when there is concentration of market power, and so this attention grab will have consequences in terms of what we are being shown, the products that we are, we are going to end up buying. Google is a master in knowing exactly which are going to hit with your attention, 99% of the people click on the first thing they see. I'm strongly pro-competition because you know, the good stuff will emerge in the end. In the absence of competition, this is not going to happen, unfortunately. The problem with information is that there is not a simple transaction. Me knowing one thing and telling you another thing, I've not transferred anything, I've shared it. There is now more information in there. And so classical economics simply doesn't have the tools to really um, understand these things. People are so passively using devices with it without asking themselves the kind of question we are debating now. And this has consequences. If I click and I have something delivered to my door, then my corner shop Closes. We have to re-establish a little bit a human dimension. We have to understand that what we are doing has a big impact on our society. Whenever you talk to marketers about this and they do econometric modelling, TV advertising works, print advertising works, digital, well, it's very complicated, you know, there's lots of different things going on. How do you explain the $250 billion? Is it a race to the bottom because everybody's doing it, therefore I have to, otherwise I am... I think it's, a, a, in large part, it's almost like a P.T. Barnum con. Wow. I genuinely wow. believe so, that the, the market outcomes claimed by Facebook and Google are not as great as, as people imagine. These giants might have feet of clay. They might not be as powerful as we think they are. And it is in their interest to project power that it may well be unwarranted.